Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. Mike Fenner was on assignment. While Mother Nature washed out numerous games around the region, they still played baseball at UPMC Park as the month-long high school baseball series continued. Randy Durkowski's Mercier's Prep Lakers taking on Meadville from UPMC Park. No score, bottom of the first, and the Lakers have the bases loaded. Nathan Lazan singles to right. That scores Joe Colon and Hayden Zaffino. Making it 2 0 Mercyhurst Prep. 3 0 Lakers in the third. Mike Nelligan singles to left. Zafino would score to give the Lakers a four run lead over Meadville. Now 5 0 in the fifth. Connor Fitzgerald with the RBI double up the middle to make it a 6 0 Lakers lead. Same frame. Logan Wells at the plate. He's going to go to left field. And this plate's another run for Mercyhurst Prep as the Lakers improve to 6 1. They win this one 10 0 in five innings over Meadville. Team's playing outstanding right now. We're getting some clutch hitting, and our pitching's been excellent, and, and defense has been outstanding as well. That's the effort tonight. The bad conditions, the ball being wet, and the mound being a little slick, but he sucked it up, pitched right through it, and pitched the jump. Today, I felt like I came out a little slow. The weather, the weather had me going a little slow a little bit, but I came out, tried throwing strikes, and just at, towards the second and further on, I felt felt pretty good. I felt like I was doing what I had to. Went out and played like a team. That was another great win. Uh, Hayden threw great on the mound. We made some nice plays behind. Him and um, we're able to get on them early and just keep the momentum going throughout the game. In Albion, Northwestern home to Cambridge Springs, both teams, as you would think, fighting the elements this afternoon. Early on for the Wildcats, Austin Kitsy able to get a single to shallow right. Later on, they would get the bases loaded. Jared Glassell would deliver on the RBI base hit. And eventually this game would have to be called after five innings due to rain. And it's Northwestern picking up the victory. They shut out Cambridge Springs 2 to nothing. When Girard and Cathedral Prep meet in the inaugural Mets Baseball Classic Saturday at UPMC Park, it'll be more than just a game. Jet 24's Mike Fenner has the story. Having lost their 2020 spring baseball season due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Yellow Jackets were eager to return to the Diamond in 2021, but did so with a major void in the dugout. It was really tough. I mean, he's always, he's been in the dugout for every game my, my entire high school career. So, I mean, it was just, without how, having him here, it's, it's different. Assistant baseball coach and Girard native Mark Metzler passed away on December 2nd at the age of 61 due to complications from surgery. While he served as the bench coach for John Tramontano for five years, Metz, as he went by, touched many lives, spending decades in his home community from baseball to hoops, football, softball, and much more. He was just a community guy. He just supported all the different events, whether it was sports or uh, anything Girard related, was proud to be from here and just just a actively gave back. Definitely a huge hit to the community. It wasn't only just with the baseball team, it was every sports team, just every person in the community. And his personality was infectious among his players and everyone he came in contact with. He was one of the funniest guys I know. It didn't matter how the game was going, if it was a hard game or a great one, he'd always have something positive to say, pick you up, and a funny joke to go with it. Well, Mark's spent a lot of his time coaching. He was certainly all about family. My dad's the, the, the only reason why I love, love baseball and love softball the, the way I do. When my dad proposed to my mom, he said, will you spend half your life with me because the other half I'll be coaching? And he stuck to that promise. And when we were with my dad, watching him coach or when he was coaching us, it, he was his best self. It just means a lot to us and our family that uh, my dad was able to end his career coaching baseball and um, now the community is doing this to um, show appreciation to everything that my dad did. The Jackets have started a scholarship in his name with a slow pitch softball game to raise proceeds this coming August and this Saturday at UPMC Park, Gerard will face Cathedral Prep in a baseball doubleheader to honor his memory and raise money in the community. I know they're, they're playing for him and appreciative of all the stuff that he did to help uh, you know, get the program where it's at with the, the facilities and the travel and the other things that we've been doing. Hopefully just a nice, nice event to memorialize a great guy and, you know, help uh, some people along the way in doing that. Mike Fenner, Jet 24, Action Sports. The Varsity JV doubleheader starts at noon on Saturday for the inaugural Mets Classic with Gerard facing Cathedral Prep. In lieu of admission at UPMC Park, fans are asked to bring a monetary donation for the Mark Metzler Scholarship Fund or a non-perishable food item for donation. 